Hey guys, I'm on my way to my P.O. box. Said I had some mail in there on my in my email. So I'm running to the P.O. box and then I've got to go to the store and then I'm headed to my mother-in-law's to uh, vacuum and clean out her fridge. Not cleaned out her fridge yet. Because um, we sure won't we weren't sure what was going on, but it looks like she's not going home for a little while still. So I'm gonna clean her fridge out and I need to vacuum because I think I mentioned in one of my videos that my son and his girlfriend stayed there for um, about a week while he was taking his CDL classes to get his CDL license. Um, so they, sh they have a golden retriever, which sheds and my mother-in-law's vacuum wasn't working, so um, they couldn't vacuum when they were cleaning up the place before they left, so I'm gonna go vacuum, take my vacuum over there and vacuum. Um, yeah, so let me um, go in and get the mail. I'm at Meyer now. I went by my mother-in-law's house and I forgot, um, we had hired a friend of ours to repair a couple things in her bathroom um, totally forgot he was going today, so I decided to come to the store first and uh, grab what I need and wait for him to be done so I'm not in his way. So I wanted to thank Juanita. She sent some cards uh, in the, to the P.O. box. Um, she sent me a birthday card with a gift inside. Thank you so much. My birthday was in February. Um, she also sent a sympathy card uh, for Mr. Grant. Thank you. And she also sent a birthday card for Max. So Max's birthday was March 18th. So I will say thank you for Max, Juanita. Thank you so much. And then I also got this Taste to Home uh, magazine. Uh, Linda bought me a subscription for a Taste to Home magazine. These magazines are great, guys. Um, they got some great recipes in them. So thank you, Linda, again, for that subscription. All right, so I'm um, going to go in, grab the couple things I need, and then head home until he's done. All right, I was going to show you guys. Can you tell Mickey's back to his old self? He's back to his old self, his mouthy self. I'll show you guys what I got at the store after we let the guys out. saying i'll show you what i got at the store after we let the boys out look at almost all the snow is gone you guys it melted quite a bit yesterday and today it says we're gonna get up to 60 magnum why are you eating grass because <laughs> it's there mom <laughs> yeah it's about 50 degrees right now it's supposed to get up to 60 so hopefully all this snow mess is over with now. We can only hope. Mother Nature always throws a um, snow day in at the beginning of spring. Always. It never fails. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I think I was in elementary, and we had a huge snowstorm on the first day of spring. And I remember being out of school I remember us kids after the snow plows, we lived next door to, um, our house was next to like a GM plant. Um, I can't remember which GM plant, but there was a big parking lot like right next to our house. And after the snow plows went in and plowed the snows, they were these huge piles of snow and all us kids were out there playing in them. And oh, it was a good old time. <laughs> when you're a kid, it's fun. When you're adult, adult and doggies, not so much. So, yeah, almost all the snow is gone, and the boys are happy. All right, I'm going to get the landmines picked up, and then I'll share with you what I got at the store, because I know some of you like to see the little hauls I get. So, and if you don't, just fast forward a little. It's not a big one. <laughs> Miggy saw me pull my camera out. I wondered if you were going to get your ball or your frisbee. I wasn't sure. So, you want your frisbee today? Okay. All right. <laughs> I 
I did find him a Franklin ball. Um, he's just, he's just been wanting to play Frisbee more than ball, which is so surprising, but he loves both. He gets into spurts. What he wants to play with. I got to learn how to throw the Frisbee again really good. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't find it yesterday. Let go. It was buried under the snow still. It was up closer to here. You couldn't find it yesterday. No, no you couldn't. <laughs> See, he's back to his old mouthy self. <laughs> and I'm very happy, Miggy. I'm very happy you're back to your old mouthy self. Okay, let go. Let go. Let go. I haven't, uh, since stopping those two uh, medications, well, one wasn't a medication, one was just a vitamin, but since stopping those, um, I've been checking his nails pretty routinely, and I haven't noticed anything weird with him yet. Cross our fingers, guys. Um, that with him being on the, uh, I call it Penti, it, it's a bigger name than that. But with him being on the Penti, I'll tape it on the screen here, um, and keeping him on the Omega-3s, I'm hoping his nails stay pretty good, even with taking them off the other two, which were causing him not to eat. And uh, not wanting to play. And he was also like self-isolating himself in, the, in my bedroom. He, he wouldn't be out with the other boys. He would uh, not want to look out the front windows. He was just, he'd come in the house uh, after being outside and go straight to the room and lay in a dog bed. So that has changed now too. Um, he's out with all the other boys. He's in the front room with us. He's not laying in bed all day. So I'm very happy. Very happy he's back to his old self. What are you, what are you do, Milo? You're digging? I could hear him snorting behind me. No digging. I found huge clumps of dirt. Oh, yep, he's digging over here. See that? He's digging there, and he's digging here. No, no, Milo. Yesterday I found huge clumps of dirt and grass in my house on the floor. Probably stuck in his toenails. Bad Milo. No dig. <laughs> He's just got a good sniffer. He can smell whatever's under that grass and that ground. Yes, he can. And he just can't help himself. I think Miggy's done. I'm going to go put his frisbee over here. Um... Yeah, I need to clean my floors, but I, I just read that there's supposed to be thunderstorms tomorrow night. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll clean my floors. My, uh, our friend is still, I can see, because my mother-in-law lives over here in this manufactured home community. And I can still see our friend's truck over there in the driveway. So, he's not done. So, I may have to hold off um, going to her house tomorrow. Oh, they saw something or heard something, or they think they did. Um, yeah, so let me just clean my own floors. Yeah, I got Miggy a Franklin basketball. You can see it over here <coughs> under the table. He likes that one better than the <coughs> um, Spalding. I think I'm going to take that to my mom. She has a mini Aussie, and he likes to play ball, so I think I'm going to give that to her for her dog. <coughs> um, but he's just been wanting to play Frisbee lately. Yes. This one's all dirty. But hey, it's an outside toy. Yeah. Might have to get you another one this summer. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, I'm so happy he's back to his old self. All right, we got to go in because my grocery, my couple groceries are on the counter. And I don't want the kitty getting it into it. There's some chicken on the counter. So 
let's go in and show you guys what I got at the store. Let's go in, boys. Okay, so here's what we got at the store. I got a Meyer Beauty box for my daughter for her Easter basket I'm making. I got two boxes of strawberry and flakes, the Meyer brand. I like these better than the Special K. Um, two half and halves. They didn't have the big container, so I got two small half and halves. And then I got a peppermint mocha coffee mate for my husband. He was out of half and half this morning. He was not happy. <laughs> um, so I stocked up. He's the only, well, my daughter drinks coffee, but she drinks iced coffee. She buys the Starbucks, the cold brew coffee, and then she mixes it with milk and ice. She doesn't drink hot coffee, um, and she uses milk. So he's the only one who uses half and half. And I said, if you take the last one out of the fridge in the garage, you have to let me know because I don't look because I don't drink coffee. <laughs> um, oh, I also got two gallons of milk. They're in my garage fridge. Got some oregano. Um, because I've discovered a um, chicken sol solvlaki um, in the marinade that goes on the chicken. I make pitas, chicken solvlaki pitas. Oh my gosh, they are the best. I will link the YouTube video um, that I watched and it made my mouth water and I made them and they are so good. So I'll link that video in the description box below. So of course, that's why I got some more chicken breasts. Because I have a package in the freezer. I need one more so I can make a pretty good batch of it. Um, some eggs. I got the dogs. Some of these Blue Dog Bakery Softies. I break them up in half and give them a... Usually give them a half a day. A half a one. Um, I have been giving them some store-bought treats. But very selective on the ones I give them. Um, due to... Um, multiple dogs of mine having pancreatitis in the past. So I've been very selective and I've been, um, I've had no problems since giving them store-bought treats again. I give them, I'll give them those like a half a piece and I'll give them a dental treat. Um, and I think, yeah, that's, oh no, I've been giving them also the um, Blue Buffalo Health Bars, the pumpkin and um, cinnamon, I believe they are. Those are very low in fat, so I give them those too. So those are the only three things I give them. Besides green beans and other things like that, I'll give them that are very low fat. Um, okay, let's get off that tangent. <laughs> I got some dishwasher pods. I got two scrub mommy sponges. I love these things. Some pine salt some shavers, and I got these um, gel air fresheners um, because when you have six dogs and two kitties, um, no matter how much you clean, every now and then, it smells like dog in certain areas or the cat litter box. So I put one of these where the cat litter box is, and then I'll usually set one of these out in the front room where the dogs um, always um, tend to be out there in the front room because especially in the summer when the, it's hot, that room can get warm. And if there's any kind of dog smell going on from their blankets or dog bed, if I need to wash them, it gets a little dog, um, you get some dog smell out there. Um, what can you do when you have, um, six dogs? <laughs> I'm not going to wash their blankets and beds every single day. So, um, we have some air fresheners. I also use the Glade, Glade plugins as well um, in the house. There's not usually... Now, I feel like you're going to think that my house smells like dogs. It doesn't. <laughs> but every now and then, like if I need to wash their beds in their crates or their dog beds like on the couch out here, you know, you can sometimes smell some dog smell, especially in the spring and summer when they're out rolling in the grass and stuff. So, um... I tried to prevent the dog smell by washing things as much as possible, plus having air fresheners out. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm speaking of if you have, if you're a household with multiple pets. <laughs> so that's my little haul. Um, I'm going to put this stuff away, and then I made that pita, the, ch the uh, chicken for the pitas yesterday, so I'm going to make myself a pita sandwich. I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done making it.
All right, I'm heating up a pita, a Greek pita, a little bit of olive oil in the pan, warming that up, getting it a little crispy. Um, these are the pitas I use. I know this has nothing to do with schnauzers, but I thought if I'm gonna start making more videos more consistently, um, I'm probably gonna have to talk about some other things in my videos <laughs> besides schnauzers, because I've talked so much about my schnauzers in the past for, I mean, I've been doing this, what, 10 years now, nine years? Um, kind of running out of things to talk about with schnauzers besides what's going on with their health and stuff. So anyways, these are the pitas I use. Flatbread. I guess it's a flatbread. It's not really a pita, but I'm calling it a pita. They're so good. And they're not too heavy on the carbs, less carbohydrates, more protein, less sugar, less calories. That's always good, right? Okay. Um, and then, so... Like I said, I'm going to put the marinade recipe in the comments or in the um, description box below. I'll post that video. But it's basically Greek yogurt, olive oil, oregano, salt and pepper, and lots of garlic. So here's the pieces of chicken. I put them on a skewer and then I use my grill pan and grill them up. Um, and then I have some tomato with red onion, fresh parsley, and olive oil on here. And then I have some shredded lettuce. And then I have the best thing, the tzatziki. So good. There's another brand that I like better, but this one's pretty good too. Um, I love tzatziki. I love to dip french fries in tzatziki. <laughs> All right, let me check my bread. Oh, yeah. It's starting to sizzle a little. Get a little crispy. Okay, I'm going to get this put together, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, my flatbread is warm. So if you're not if you're not um, familiar with what a tzatziki sauce is, it's basically a sauce made with from cucumbers. It's really good. It's really like fresh tasting. It's really good. So I'm gonna put some of that on my pita, flatbread pita, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure besides cucumber what they use. I think Greek yogurt. I think it's Greek yogurt and cucumbers. Um, the other one that I like has garlic in it, and it's really good. So, yeah, I put a lot of this stuff on because it's so yummy. <laughs> My daughter doesn't like it. She puts mayonnaise on. <laughs> She's a mayonnaise or ranch fan. Okay. And then I'm going to put some of this chicken on. You can heat the chicken up if you want. Mine's just cold. I don't mind it cold. The um, marinade for the chicken just make the, makes the chicken so good and so tender and just yummy. I'm going to put a lot of chicken on because I'm hungry. Okay, and then I'm going to put some of the tomato and red onion and the parsley. I like a lot of red onion too. Probably should have put more red onion in here. This is gonna be big. Hopefully I can wrap this up. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some shredded lettuce, just a little bit. Oh, I'm so hungry, you guys, my stomach's growling. So I got some foil. Oh my goodness, let's see if I can, <laughs> see if I can wrap this. Okay, I got some foil to help keep this together so I can hold it. Oh, some of my chicken fell out. That's okay. That's okay. We'll just stuff it back in there. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Mmm, look at that. All right, I'm going to go enjoy this. Make sure you check out that video I posted in the link below. I can take this chicken and just dip it in tzatziki sauce and eat it that way too. Oh, it's so good. So I'm going to go enjoy this. And then we'll be back later. See what else is going on today. You guys, <laughs> Miggy, I wanted them to hear the wind chimes. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> My goodness. I want... <laughs> I wanted everybody to hear the wind chimes. Let's see. Let's 
Let's see if they can hear it. Let's go out here. You guys, you're clinking up your nails. It's not helping. You guys hear the wind chimes? Yes, I know. There's a squirrel. I know. I saw him. I saw him. I want to thank the two subscribers again for the wind chimes in remembrance of Mr. Grant. Every time I hear him, I lay there and think Mr. Grant's talking to us. Yep. he's. I know he's talking to us. Telling us he's okay. Telling us he's happy. Yes. Okay, so. Mickey's already got some toys out. Yes, I know. Um, I, you saw me get my phone. And turn on my camera. I know. Okay, so I wanted to share something else I've been giving the boys for a treat. Um, totally forgot about it. And these, it's these Gerber Snacks for Babies. Um, they're like little puffs. These are blueberry. And there's no fat in them. Here's the zero fat. And only one gram of sugar for about 60 pieces. And my boys don't get 60 pieces. They get like three. <laughs> like three a day. So no sugar really. So... I think it was Cheryl on Cheryl's Country Home, who I saw. I don't know if it was these exact ones, but I saw she got some for her dog, Sally, I believe. Um, but I think she gives them to all her dogs. But, uh, yeah, so I have some sweet potato ones, and then I have these blueberry ones. So I forgot about these. I did give them these for a little snack, too, in the afternoon. Let's see here. And those other three treats, they don't get, like, all those treats in one day. Those are just some of the ones I buy. Um, they do get a dental bone every day. So, this is what they look like. They're just like little, almost like little puffed cereal. But no sugar. <laughs> yeah. But you gotta take it nice, Max. Don't bite my finger off. Max. Uh-uh. Max likes to try to bite my finger off. Yes, Magnum. Yes. They love them. Who didn't I get? Milo! Milo, where are you? Milo! There's Milo. <laughs> you think they like them? Look at, Mag Look at Magnum. You think they like them? <laughs> Magnum! <laughs> I'm going to give one to Mickey first. Hey, Miggy. Okay, Magnum. <laughs> okay, Mazzy. You want one? No, no, Mazzy. No, Mazzy. Milo. My goodness. I'll tell you what, though. You get dog slobber on your hands. And the little things get a little sticky. Oh, nice, Max. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's enough for now. Look at Kitty. Kitty, I don't think you'll eat these. Let's see. Kitty? Do you like these? No, Milo. 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 No, Kitty don't like it. Okay, you can eat it, Milo. Kitty's like, what is that? <laughs> Kitten's over here sleeping in the chair. That's where he sleeps all day. Okay, so just wanted to share those with you. If you got a doggy that needs low fat, my doggy, my doggies like those. So I just keep them sitting over here, this little TV tray thing over here. Um, so I wanted to mention one other thing. Um, I mentioned a while ago on my Facebook page. Why are you staring at him? Why? Are, why are you chasing Merlin out of here? Um that my husband and I 
are going to be grandparents. And we're so excited. Um, but a lot of you thought it was my daughter who was pregnant, but it's not. It is my son's girlfriend. Uh, she is pregnant. So um, we're very excited. Um, they're having a baby boy. So we're going to have a little grandson named Bennett. Um, and we can't wait. She is due. Um, I think they, her due date is right at the beginning of August. So it could be end of July, beginning of August. Um, yes, my husband and I are very excited. So is my son. So is his girlfriend. Um, and we can't wait. She, she had a terrible time, um, at the beginning of her pregnancy with terrible nausea, throwing up. Um, she had to go for infusions three to four times a week for medication and IVs. She, she lost like 30 pounds, um, during all of this. I can't remember what it's called, but it's an extreme case of morning sickness. Very bad. Um, I had to purchase her some, um, like, uh, this is TMI, but like throw up bags, you can get them on Amazon. Um, they're like disposable throw up bags. I felt so bad for her, um, going through that just terrible. Um, she even, um, my, my son said she passed out a couple times just from being dehydrated and stuff. She was in the hospital multiple times, but she's passed it thankfully now. Um, and she's doing great. She's got the weight back on her. Um, she's doing really good. So, yeah, it's not my daughter who's pregnant, but it is my son's girlfriend. And we're very excited and can't wait to meet baby Bennett. So excited. Okay, so just wanted to clear that up for anybody who thought it was my daughter. Um, okay, I'm going to get going. Um, I've decided I'm going to do my mother in -ha my mother-in-law's house tomorrow. I'm just going to work on my house. I've been going room by room and kind of doing some spring cleaning. Um, so I think I'm going to start in my kitchen today. <laughs> so nice out. I just want to go outside with the boys. It's not very sunny, but um, it's not cold. That's what's great. I cleaned the outside of these windows the other day when it wasn't cold. Well, it's been about a week and a half now. Um, so I got those windows cleaned outside. Um so maybe I'll clean some windows too. Maybe I'll clean the inside and outside of the windows in the kitchen. Um, hi, Mozzie. Hi, baby boy. Hi. You want more treats? Are you begging for more treats? Huh? <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm just going to stay home today. I think my husband and I are going to go visit his mom at the... Oh, that's another update I wanted to give you guys. Um, his mom is doing a lot better. Kitty, what are you doing over there? What are you doing? He's like, where's my treat? I got to go get him a kitty treat here in a second. Um, uh, she's doing a lot better. Um, her physical therapy is going well. Um, we're still not sure. Um, if she, We're not for sure if she's going to be able to go home or not. We want to keep the house. We got the stuff fixed. We're getting everything prepared like she's going to go home. Um, but we're not totally for sure yet. Um so, yeah, we're not for sure on that yet. It's just a day-by-day -day thing, see how things go. But I think we're going to go visit her today, um, see if she wants us to bring her any dinner later. That's one thing she does. This senior care facility is so much nicer than the last one she was in. Um, the rooms are much bigger. She, she, does, she does share a room with another lady. But they're so much bigger that um, they're really nice. The only thing she's complained about is the food. <laughs> she's not that thrilled with the food. Um, but she doesn't want to go down to the dining room. If she goes down to the dining room, if uh, they can wheel her down in a wheelchair, um, she could have more choices of different foods. If she stays in her room to eat... Um, the squirrel's gone now. 
My goodness. Okay, what was I saying? Now I can't remember what I was saying, boys. Oh, I think I was saying um, if she goes down to the dining room, she can have, there's different, she can make a choice of what she wants. There's multiple choices. But if you stay in your room to eat, they just have um, a set meal that they take to the rooms. So I don't know why she won't go down to the dining room uh, to eat so she can have um, multiple choices and maybe there'd be something better she'd like to eat. I'm not sure, but um, if we go there before dinner time, maybe we'll um, take her something to eat or pick her something up that she would like. So anyways, all right, guys, I'm going to get going, um, get to clean in the kitchen and we'll talk to you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye guys.